of the Cradock Four have welcomed the announcement by the Minister of Justice and Correctional Services, Ronald Lamola, to reopen the inquest into the murders of the Cradock Four. Matthew Goniwe, Sparrow Mkonto, Fourth Galata, and Sitelo Mtlauli were abducted and murdered by the security police in June 1985. Two previous inquests have been held into their murder, but the minister states these produced more questions than answers and did not include the information revealed during the TRC process. They state that a prosecution of the perpetrators would have been preferred, but the last known suspect died last year. The families express their hope that the inquest will reveal the truth and bring closure. A date and location for the inquest is still to be confirmed. Now, earlier we got some reaction from Lucanio Talata, the son of the slain activist Fort Talata. We are happy that our mothers will have the opportunity to finally hear the truth uh, around uh, the murders of our fathers and their husbands. Uh, the fact that this matter has taken so long is, it is a terrible indictment on the NPA and of course the uh, successive governments of the African National Congress, uh, successive administrations, including that of former President Thabo uh, as well as Jacob Zuma, because had their governments uh, done the right thing, of, you know, close to 20 years ago, we would not be here. But, uh, you know, we, we are where we are. It, it was very sad for us last year when the NPA informed us that the last suspect in this matter, um, you know, had died. And we do blame uh, the ANC government for that because it had allowed a period of close on to 20 years where it could have acted, where it could have prosecuted, but it sat and it did absolutely uh, nothing. So hopefully uh, after this inquest is done, when we finally know the truth, when, you know, we will be suing uh, the government, we are, uh, you know, we are in touch with uh, several other families who find ourselves uh, or themselves in exactly the same boat as we are. And then once, um, you know, the, our matter is concluded, we are going to go to court and we're going to sue the government for, for, for constitutional damages, for failing to do right by us, for failing to affirm our constitutional right to justice, uh, um, you know, and serving us that justice. So uh, while we do celebrate this moment and we do look forward to having this matter heard in a democratic South Africa, uh, when we do look forward to finally hearing the truth, uh, ultimately the government is accountable. That is not, uh, uh, um, uh, let that not be mistaken. And we will be uh, holding the government uh, accountable by suing them.